We are in the park and we are season ticket holders for Energylandia, aren't we? We are. We are indeed. <laughs> so we pretty much worked out to, because we're doing obviously the four days here, it worked out to pretty much being the same price. And obviously I will be coming back over time as well. Uh, so the operation really was quite simple, wasn't it? Very simple. Um, so yeah, you kind of fill out some paperwork, first of all. They take you around to the office where they take your photo on an iPhone and then p uh, post it to on iMessenger. So if you're kind of not uh, kind of happy with stuff like that, obviously, you know, kind of talk to the part. But yeah, it went straight on to iMessenger to somewhere. And then tomorrow when we come back in, uh, we then collect our, um, our passes. So yeah, you know, it's a, it was quite a simple process. So what did it work out to about 124, about 124 pounds uh, for a year pass here at Energylandia. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, I think it's worth it. Uh, I will be coming back, obviously, when the new rides open. Uh, so yeah, uh, you know, it's for me, it's probably going to be work out better. And at the same time, bring Bex along for the cheap beer <laughs> and the cheap food. <laughs> and the sun. Uh, and the sun, yeah, actually. You know, so far, beautiful day so far you know weird because it's what 29 it says yeah 29 but it's not as humid as it was back home you know it just feels a bit better so yeah we're just walking alongside of the water park at the moment which last time we were here we didn't really kind of do at all or even look into um, and then we're going to go straight the way over to Zanja which I can just see going up the lift at the moment uh, currently on a zero minute wait and I reckon that's probably because people can't even get to it because it's so far away or it could even be that the queue line's so long they're getting lost um, but yeah you've got all these mist little mist areas there as a camera get pissed off <laughs> and then just got speed just over there so guys I'm going to switch you off now and we're going to start heading over to Zandra so unfortunately a very busy day here at Energylandia today so we've actually got back on the plane to France and gone to Disneyland Paris and we're just outside the Carsland area just here look at this mater how you doing mater When you come to the park, there's so many little knockoffs um, of certain things that you just think, how do they get away with? Uh, the kind of the um, Pirates of the Caribbean music. When you go through, you've got the Orton Tower music. Uh, you've got quite a few little knockoff bits. You know, it's quite funny to kind of see as you go around. There's another example there um, of, uh, you know, Disneyland knockoffs as well. But we'll carry on through the day and we'll see if we can find any more around the park. After about a 15 minute walk, we're finally getting to the tunnel that goes over the, uh, under the road, uh, over to the kind of the new-ish area uh, where Zanja is. So the world's tallest uh, wooden coaster, uh, now tied with um, Iron Gwazi at Bush Gardens, which currently isn't open, so it still is uh, the world's tallest. And as you walk under the, uh, the road, you can just hear the Alton Towers music. And you may think that is it, as soon as you get to the ride, you're pretty much there. No, there's another 15 minute walk just to get actually get onto the ride. Gonna get your steps up today. Yeah, just a bit. Ain't we? <laughs> so yeah, from the actual entrance, this just kind of just shows you how big the kind of the park is. Um, you know, you go from there, it's a good old walk, um, but what uh, they do like doing here is making massive queue lines. Um, it's not just Zandra as well. There are so many other Iperion also crosses over itself about 20 times in the queue line um, as you kind of go around you think you're close and then you carry on back out again and go somewhere else um, so yeah just just remember that when you obviously are uh, coming here that there is going to be a lot of walking involved uh, to get around the park but yeah we are here and you can see the new abyss over the back there and the new junior boomerang family boomerang that is coming as well but as you pan round now you get to see the magnificent RMC coaster the world's tallest wooden co hybrid coaster or wooden coaster as they call it on their website like I've been saying before so many uh, parks the world's world's record world records you know I believe that there is kind of you know still vengeance which is pretty much neither the same as this is a little bit higher uh, so yeah we're gonna head on round now we're gonna get in the queue 
and start walking through it and have a nice little 10 minute walk through the queue line. So as you walk further to the queue line, uh, you have to wear your mask from now on all the way through. So through the park itself, I believe there's kind of tolerances, there's no one uh, saying to put them on and there aren't really people wearing them. Uh, but as soon as you get into the queue line, you have to put your mask on and that continues all the way around onto the ride as soon, and obviously until you get off the ride itself. Um, but yeah, here we go. You can hear the lift heel of an RMC Classic. Probably one of my favourites um, out there. Not the best, but one of my favourites. You just get some really good moments in this ride, especially later on in the day when it gets a little bit warmer um, and the actual uh, the train's been going all day. It flies around. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit of a walk though. That's the problem. But yeah, you can just see. Sounds like it's running well. Let's get on it and see if it is. Okay, so after a 35 minute wait there for the front row, we finally got on Zandra, the 206 foot hyper coaster here at Enigelandia. And uh, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. It was really nice to finally get back on that ride. Uh, so uh, through the kind of the actual waiting there, they did the actual cleaning of the train and then sent that round singly with no one in it. They also come out and clean the bars where you wait just before going into the station as well. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a really nice little process there as well. Just remember guys, there is a locker system here, uh, which is five a Polish lotte, which works out to around about a pound, something like that. And I believe that's all day. I'm going to try that later on. I can't remember from last time being here um, what it was. So Becky, how was your uh, ride on Zandra? 
it's very good. Very good, was it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My throat now hurts from screaming. Yeah. So it was the first time Becky's really been on a coaster, well, even of this size for a long time. But she went to obviously Blackpool Pleasure Beach with us and went on Icon. But obviously, compared to Icon, it's a little bit different. So yeah, really good, wasn't it? It was kind very of like good. yeah, trying to get on there and stuff. You really enjoyed it, and we'll go back on there later on probably uh, as well. So yeah, really enjoyed it. We've now just sat down and got ourselves some beers. There we go. <laughs> so it's the highlights of actually coming to Energylandia was for the beers. So these two here, which is a refillable uh, drink uh, cup, uh, comes to 50 uh, Polish Lotte, which is uh, around about nine pounds, nine, 10 pounds um, for both. Um, so yeah, not bad at all. And then you can fill them up throughout the day for around about 16, so what, it's a couple of pounds, uh, so what, two, two pounds, I think that works out too. So yeah, we just thought we'd do that instead of just keep buying the single cup ones. Uh, yeah, and they're quite a nice little souvenir as well. Also, when you're uh, kind of at these kind of little restaurant points as well, you get these little signs on the table. Um, so it says it's safe to uh, sit, different uh, disinfected table. If you see this, uh, it means not to sit on there. So they put these down if someone's just walked away and then they turn them over when they're ready to sit on. So when you're going along, just make sure so you look out for them to make sure that they are being cleaned. Uh, from like this person walking right here. So yeah, this is just outside of uh, the new area. So where Zandra is, you can just see it in the background there. Uh, so we're going to enjoy our beers with a straw um, because they've given us a straw for some reason. And then we're going to carry on over to the rest of the park uh, for our time here. Okay, so Becky screamed so much on Zandra that we had to get one beer to see if her throat was getting better. <laughs> and now we've had to get a second beer to kind of uh, see if we can uh, make it feel a bit better. So just How's your throat now? It's, it's getting better. Like, yeah, it's getting as, better. as we get, have more beers, it'll get better and better, hopefully, be, uh, things. So we've worked it out. So the refill is 16 Polish Lotte, but you can buy like just a glass uh, for 10 Polish Lotte, which basically fills it pretty much exactly the same as what they did it last time. So we're going to go with that, saving us six Polish Lotte or 12 Polish Lotte per round. So yeah, why not? Um, but yeah, we're on our way now to the uh, Energylandia Extreme Stunt Show. Um, so, to be fair, Mrs. Frill Rides has uh, definitely changed me. So it's like nearly one o'clock now. And we've been on one ride, visited two bars <laughs> and one ride. And now we're going to go and watch a show where before, um, I probably wouldn't have even done any of this stuff. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for that. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Look how much fun you're having. I oh, know. So yeah, we've got our beer. We know where the show is, because that's where we're going to. The last time we were here, we actually uh, couldn't find some of the shows. And we went in to go and watch this magic show, which is probably the most terrible uh, show that we've probably ever seen, wasn't it? It was just... It's the most amateur show. <laughs> it was just appalling, it really was. So hopefully now this, this actually is on. It says 1.05, so hopefully that means the time um, and not the actual, the actual month it starts. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're heading now, hopefully, to the uh, to the extreme show. Okay, so it looks like it is closed. So I don't actually know when it was supposed to start. I don't know if the 1.5 uh, on the map uh, states that it's uh, that's the month. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing, absolutely nothing at all. So yeah, so it's a bit of time to probably get some more coasters, because at the moment, that isn't open, so we might as well try and get over to probably Hyperion, see what that's on at the moment. But saying that, I haven't seen it uh, go for a little bit actually. Uh, so it was on a zero minute wait on the queue line board, but I haven't seen it go, so it could be that it's down. Um, but yeah, we'll carry on round. It's getting quite warm now, so we're looking at around about 20, 29, 30 degrees here in, uh, in Poland. But you know, kind of the humidity is quite good actually compared to what it was uh, back in the UK when we was at 30. Um, but yeah, I mean, look at this for a view. You know, you can't really beat it, can you? So you've got speed there, which is just going off. Uh, one of the wettest water rides according to uh, theme park review. Hyperion is running, so it's just going in the back just there as well. So that's probably where we're gonna head off over there now and get onto Hyperion uh, for a nice little ride on another Intamin hypercoaster this time though. So we'll speak to you all soon when we get over to there.
<laughs> oh, thank, oh you. thank you very much. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Okay, so that there, just quickly show you. So, if you come to the park, uh, what do you think about us? So, express your opinion on Google, Facebook, or TripAdvisor, and try and find your happiness with a wheel of fortune. So, you get to go on it. You spin the wheel. First of all, we got some little key rings, didn't we? Yeah. We needed three, but we got two for the kids. <laughs> uh, so we let them fight that out in a death match. Um, and then we went back on it and got the Zandra one and we got this little <laughs> nice little organiser <laughs> to be it is I all need in. something like that in my life uh, to oh, do oh, okay yeah we've got it in English as yeah well. there is good. English so yeah that's good isn't it so yeah it's kind of it's great for them I can see why they've got 4.9 there on their reviews when they're kind of doing something like that but why not you know it's great so uh, you're still heading our way over to uh, Hyperion at the moment um, but we have seen that there's a restaurant available to uh, go and eat at so we don't know to go and do that first and then Hyperion and this might just end up being a day of just visiting the bars around the park and the restaurant so this is where we ate last time and uh, we really enjoyed the food actually so it was I think we had the full rack of ribs I think I did last time um, and then a drink and I think it was around about four pounds something like that so yeah we're gonna have a look in here and see what we think of the food this time into the day we are on to our second coaster <laughs> Hyperion and to be fair we're not even eaten as well so we went into the um, went into the actual restaurant and there was some dodgy looking stuff there so that you could have a rabbit's leg and sauce and fresh trout um, so we're like we'll skip that just for the moment but while we're here we're going Hyperion so that is the plan you can just see down there is the queue line so you go all the way up here to come all the way back down again to get to there so yeah five minute walk uh, and then we should hopefully join that queue down there here we go though Hyperion get to the front of the train because the back has got square wheels oh, yeah.
there we go we've just come off the Intamin hypercoaster there which is a Hyperion and yeah it was a pretty good ride actually so yeah we were on the second row so the um, yeah it was a really pretty good ride what's the speed of it 88 miles an hour and the height 256 <laughs> I think it was feet high and yeah we was on the second row there and um, yeah it was pretty good wasn't it really lots of ejector airtime on there what did you call it oh a cheap shambala a cheap shambala <laughs> Yeah, it is. You do still get a lot of bounce on the front, but not nowhere near as what the back is. Um, but yeah, it was good, wasn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, the flip flops one. didn't come off. No, I wasn't so, allowed to take them off, but they no, stayed on. You're not allowed to take them off, but you, uh, they stayed on all the way around, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the, sec the, uh, the first kind of hair time hill, the ejector hair time you get over there is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, it's all themed around kind of NASA space project. Uh, so yeah, it was quite good to kind of see all the NASA stuff as you kind of go along, isn't it? As you come at the shop and that as well. Yeah. yeah, really kind of fun, wasn't it? You know, really fun ride. <laughs> really enjoyed it. Locker system, as you go through, you use the same band as what you had on Zandra. So it's five pounds for the whole day, or for, sorry, five yeah. Polish Lottie, so which a is pound. a pound uh, to use a locker system all day, which is what it should be. Um, you know, I think that's an absolutely fantastic uh, kind of co cost there uh, for the safety to make sure that your stuff is uh, adequately stored. But yeah, really, really enjoyed that ride. Uh, so next up for us is lunch and more beer. beer. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're trying to get a, a, a kind of a fill up our beer as much as we can do, and then we're going to head over now to our restaurant, uh, which doesn't entail of rabbit legs and trout, <laughs> which is just this one here. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. Is just head round this corner here, uh, and then to the restaurant just there uh, is you know the one that we've been to before and we really enjoyed. So that's it. So Hyperion. So the time is what two uh, no half past two we've been on two rides two beers and no lunch so here we are we've now sat down for our food here at energylandia and let's just show you what we've got so i have we've well, actually pretty much got exactly the same to be fair um so i asked for ribs and chips and this is what i got um, becky actually asked for the pork and the chips and that's what she got and then i've got this which i've never tried before uh, which is a mango we, we think it's a beer don't we yeah uh, and then sure. you've got like an apple one there as well so that's the stuff charging just there let's open this up and uh, we'll give it a try let's give this a bear with us mm. right for Bex's. oh it's like really cider. refreshing isn't yeah. it we think it's a cider <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> that's really nice actually. So yeah, um, so the beers, uh, the broken glass, um, the uh, food, um, all come to, what was it, about £17 we worked it out to. So not too bad at all. So this comes as one, then the fries come separate, uh, and then the, the sauce comes separate. Do not touch the sauce without their permission, they go mental at you. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I really like this. It's really nice. I'll have to try the apple at some point as well. So it was 10, was it 10 this Polish Lotte, wasn't it, for the beer? So whatever beer you have, uh, how much is that? Two. Two pounds. Wow. So two pounds for these. Uh, so I'm going to get me a few more of these before the end of the day goes. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to uh, tuck into my food now. we just finished our food and I have to say um, the pork or the chicken whatever it was um, I'm still not convinced of what I actually ate there it was actually all right to be fair but kind of comes to subject really when you don't actually know what you've eaten how was your food yeah it's the same uh, it's good was it pork or chicken I do not know <laughs> I'm eating breadcrumbs <laughs> We kind of enjoyed it. I mean, to be fair, it's better than the uh, the pork knuckle that was available, the uh, the rabbit leg, or the trout. 
Um, but yeah, it was okay. Uh, and then the beer was actually really nice as well, wasn't it? The, yeah. yeah. It was you had the apple one, didn't you? Yeah. And yeah, it was quite nice. So we're on the hunt now to try and find some more. Uh, so I had the mango last time. Um, so I'm hoping to get like. I'm going to probably try the apple, I think. <laughs> I'll probably go, yeah, I'm probably going to try the apple. How about you? Uh, might do the cranberry. The bit of cranberry. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to try and scope out first. Our whole day has been revolved around this extreme Energy Landia show, which we thought was at uh, four o'clock, which is now found out it's actually uh, at half past four. So we actually are going to go on a ride because we've only done two today. We've actually done more beers uh, than rides at the moment. So yeah, the plan is now uh, is to find uh, a beer and then get on a ride. So that is it. Um, we, uh, we was under the impression that the uh, it was going to be warm and hot continuously. Just going to turn you around. So just look at the sky behind me. Look how nice it looks. Let's have a look at the other way. Look at that. Oh my god. So apparently in an hour's time it was supposed to have thunderstorms here. So it'd be quite interesting to see how that goes down. We are around about what 10, 15 minute walk probably to the hotel. Uh, way too far. Way too far to run. Uh, to run. <laughs> um, so at one, some point we're either going to get wet on a water ride or uh, by the storm. <laughs> so yeah we will see at some point as well. So a storm at Energylandia may be coming up or it may just be a hoax. Wait for the beers. So it's drier over there than it is here. This is absolutely rubbish. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I know. But well, it wasn't raining when I left. <laughs> So we're having an absolutely fantastic day here at Energylandia. The weather is absolutely perfect today. Uh, kind of nice sunny skies, uh, you know, all rides open, operations really good. Um, yeah, it's turned out really good. Unfortunately though, the show's cancelled. The main thing that we've been planning all day, and it's now cancelled, Bex, are you disappointed? I'm very disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. We're waiting ages for it and then unfortunately the park is now at the moment closed for an hour due to thunderstorms but we have found alcoholic beverages so you've got a what strawberry margarita yeah and i've got a uh, lemon beer or lemon shandy you're only two percent two percent so yeah why we were why we kind of waiting for the uh, the thunderstorm to uh, go we uh, we thought we'd get some beers in and obviously just uh, watch out. We haven't really got the bestest of uh, spaces though here when you look above us. We've got a gap there and a gap there and that material is definitely not waterproof. Um, so we're literally just getting soaked but it's better than being out there at the moment and I reckon all the, all the restaurants and that where you could probably get a real cover was probably uh, full by now. What will hopefully will happen is obviously a lot of people will leave the park um, so yeah that will be the, hopefully good because then we can find out what else is available afterwards. The park is open from 10 to 8 today so there's a lot more time to ride coasters and rides here. So yeah we're going to hold our weight up, just saw a bit of lightning there. A uh, bit of thunderstorm. They're going to wait up, and then we're going to uh, we're going to then get back out, hopefully, onto the, some of the rides. But thank you, first of all, thank you for Bex for being the superstar and getting the beers over there while we're sitting here in the dry. Anyway, let's wait for this to uh, tie over. How was your ride? It was good, it's over really quick. Yeah, isn't it? How quick that is. Yeah, it's a quick ride. Yeah, it's a good day. <laughs> okay, the park is now open again. The sun is not shining, but the rain has gone away. A little bit of spitting, but other than that, you know, it's actually better than it was to, you know, we, we've dried out, so we're kind of happy. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've kind of walked around here. They kind of announced all attractions now open. So we went on formula and um, yeah, it was not too bad. So we waited around about 10 minutes, you reckon? Yeah. Once they get the other train on. So it was only one train operation. Once everyone flooded to it, they kind of built it up and they obviously then went to two trains. What I would say if you are coming here is people do queue jump and nobody says anything at all, do they? Like people just randomly just walk past you and get straight on the ride and not one person will say anything. Um, so just bear that in mind when you are here that you will get queue jumpers um, and like I said no one challenges it the staff don't really challenge it and they see it uh, the people that are around just kind of accept it it wasn't just on there we had it in the food area as well Zandra as well so many variations uh, of times where they've actually just jumped in front and no one really says anything whatsoever so just bear that in mind the ride itself I really enjoyed it really good ride uh, you know great uh, kind of punchy launch on there it's a bit compact as well which is quite nice and I think which is really good that could be in a kind of a, you know a Drayton Manor or Blackpool Pleasure Beach you know that type of ride and it'll give them a really good kind of uh, setup there so yeah we've just done another kind of giveaway so on this one just here uh, it is uh, post a picture on Instagram and hashtag uh, this company here so I found a post that I did ages ago, hashtag put it into there 
we had a quick go and we've won this little beauty. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so this whale. is, uh, at the moment, a whale. Fish. Yeah, a whale. And then this and is then, wait Pierce, a minute. Pierce the Resistance. <laughs> it becomes <laughs> a bag. I mean, it can't get any grace, can it? <laughs> With a little flap. <laughs> With a little flap on it. So, yeah. So that's our, that was our little giveaway from over there. So, really kind of good kind of market employee, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Giveaway crap. <laughs> but you've got to review like five stars for you to get a little price. So, you know, why not? At the end of the day, I, on the other one over there, I already had the Google review anyway. And then over there, I already posted on Instagram anyway. So for me, you know, I haven't really done anything. You kind of did it, didn't you, to try and get some more goodies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty cool. So the uh, Energylandia Extreme Stunt Show is at um, six o'clock now. We're not yeah, kind of, we're giving up hope, but we're going to try and get on it for <laughs> the six o'clock one so we can go and see it. This thing best be as good as the magic show that we saw last year that was absolutely rubbish. So please make, make after all this kind of preparation of not going on rides, I mean that's my fourth ride of the day, that's your third ride of the day. If this was Fort Park or anywhere like that, we'd be kind of cursing be like, to really be fair. But we're, we're kind of not to be fair, are we? We're kind of just enjoying milling around and just filling up the beers and just carrying on around. So we are out of beer now, so the plan is now is to find another one. Um, try and get on another ride quickly, because we've got like four, 35 minutes before the show starts. Find another beer, uh, and then obviously get over there to be able to go and watch the show, which hopefully will happen uh, if all goes well. So that is it at the moment. Find some beer and the show. Well, look at this little area around here. It's great for kids. Okay, so we've just come off Monster's House. We thought we'd go on there with a zero minute wait, and I can see why. <laughs> uh, it's, but probably... it's for kids. 
See, I get it for kids, but nothing happens. Like, there's like a couple of stacked pallets, like some random things. Yeah, it's just rubbish, isn't it? It's just... It's all like aliens and skeletons, I don't get the theme in. No, the best bit is just the picture at the end as you're walking out that changes. But yeah, not good at all to be fair. But, uh, but it was a zero minute wait, so why not? We have got ourselves a beer. <laughs> She's, Becky's got hers now. So, we think, we think... This is actually going, going to happen. happen. There is literally no rain clouds. The show, I can hear doing some revving. So hopefully it will be on. Here we go. There we go, look at that. Look at that. So yeah, we are going to head our way round now and hopefully finally get to watch it. Can you hear a lot of noise? Not many people in the stands, but we believe we go around the outside and hopefully this will kind of be enjoyable and hopefully we'll be able to kind of film a little bit for you as well at the same time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Right then, here we go, guys. The Extreme Energylandia Show.